The communities of Baldwin, Muskegon, and South Haven are mourning the loss of Dwayne E. Dewey. Whose life-saving decision during the Korean War earned him the Congressional Medal of Honor. 13 On Your Side's Brent Ashcroft spent the day in South Haven to learn more about this true American hero. Brent. Dwayne Dewey grew up in West Michigan. He attended Muskegon High School, but it was the choice he made nearly 7,000 miles east of Muskegon that made him one of the highest decorated soldiers in the Korean War. On April 16, 1952, Dewey was holding an outpost when he found himself under attack. During the battle, a grenade blew up behind his heel, injuring his leg in three places. While his wounds were being tended to, a second grenade landed beside him. What Dewey chose to do next was incomprehensible. He stuck the grenade underneath his wallet, his hip, and it ignited. But beforehand, he pulled the corpsman down. He says, come on down, Doc. It's, it's here. And it kind of held him to him to stop the bounce. He was a, a pretty tough man because it, it takes a lot of courage to do what he did. And he knew what he was doing when he did it. Dewey endured lifelong hip issues from absorbing that blast. His heroic decision saved 10 soldiers' lives. In March 1953, President Dwight Eisenhower presented Dewey with the Medal of Honor, the nation's highest award for valor in combat. A few years ago, the U.S. Postal Service issued a series of commemorative stamps, which had Dewey's image displayed on the cover. There will be three separate funerals for Dwayne Dewey, who was 89, the memorial in South Haven will be held tomorrow at noon. We have a link with more info in the web version of this story at 13 Thank you, Brent.